hi guys yeah welcome back to dengue house fashion i'm lufu mulayo gileko the creative director of dengue house fashion dengue house fashion is a fashion brand that caters for women from the ages of 10 to 60 yeah that's what we do we do bespoke we do ready to wear we do corporate wear. you know anything we relate to sewing just bring it we'll so even if your kidney will go so <laughs> Don't mind me just kidding. Yeah, I just wanted to show my face again. I believe I don't really talk too much. Like, you know, cut this, do this, went to the same machine. You know, there's many, many <laughs> routine talk now. So I just wanted to like master show on my face to get all of them already watch video now and they subscribe. You know, fail. You know, fail now. Your watch video now, your move. I beg. I say can you come preach because now when we want to go send us on this live phone do not to preach, share the word, spread the word. Even when Jesus do things for us, we're supposed to tell people when I they try normally, but I beg, I beg. Now you watch video go. It take time. And time not costly. See, I'm not even get even if they sit down for person office and they pay you, eh? You know, still fee equates to man not to speak too much grammar. You know, still fee amount to you know what waiting they say they pay you so this thing they cost us time normally she understands so i beg not your watch video go if i still make you laugh laugh just see the subscribe button i beg <laughs> seriously and i need that i beg serious that also we did so seriously i did beg i did beg when i beg but i don't to talk i just say i don't to talk cynic i just show on my face i see the b once in a while, now it's my plan, a part of my strategy for if I haven't started the whole YouTube thing. I said, definitely, once in a while, I'll just come up and show my face. Yeah, I can be camera shy sometimes, but I'm just letting loose, you know what I mean? Big face, you know, not get it to my feet, do me in my house. I did. <laughs> so that's it today. I just want to give you a series like story. You see that kind of chit chat we we tell us they get. Like, you know, see, it take two weeks for my client to choose that. <laughs> now, I don't see that kind of thing before. Two weeks, that is my client to go. I send pictures, send pictures, send pictures. Even, we even see face, face, like face to face. I just scroll, 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 scroll before she wants to say, okay. Even the one who I still choose, regards to still modify. You understand? So that's just it. I'm going to be taking you guys through the whole process i think i need to ask you ask you to be like i feel you speak in the you know like the I, because i know they be myself when i speak english that means that you still feel like right now i do not normal when you reach that english level i just the i don't know i don't know if not they feel me she gonna get so back to waiting i they talk with this the whole process like the cutting process, I would let you now know, like just to go through, like for those people that are not Nigerians that are here, because I know I have some subscribers that are not Nigerians. So I'm going to be taking you guys through the whole process. Like I said earlier, I might just like interpret. It took my client two whole weeks. Like, you know, it to be two weeks to decide saying at this time. And even this time, we have to still modify it to fit you know the way woman thing is now she gets i say yours be so i'm going to be taking you guys through the whole cutting process then after the cutting process i'm going to upload a video of how the sewing process i've been a naughty tutor seriously i watch i took out time to watch my videos and i didn't like the fact that before setting out to do youtube i watched some videos and i didn't like the way we're not communicating sincerity that emotions of sincerity so i was like okay if i come on small what i'm going to do my thing not mean say oh more <laughs> king Kong, not be not be just for mouth to talk is cheap <laughs> so i took out time to actually watch my videos of recent and i didn't like the feedback that i got by myself so i said i'm going to be more explicit with my teaching so please pardon me if you watch my video at some time and you didn't like it I'm really sorry about that, but I'm working on that. Definitely, at least five over ten, on average, I will still enter six from six. I will enter seven from seven. I will enter 
eight from eight i'm going to turn nine over ten from nine over ten i'm saying that ten ten you understand so please just stay back and see why we improve on dengue house fashion life is changes constant so we look at that at all times so please endeavor to be patient with us we're definitely going to get there thank you for the 400 and something subscribing i have over 405 right now as i speak so i appreciate you guys i thank you for staying with me for staying with me thank you thank you so much yes so let's go right into the courting table and see what's cooking bye peace out Mwah. Mwah. yes guys so i'm about to pattern the upper part of this dress what i'll be using for the patterns are my pattern paper my pencil my eraser of course then this is my paper scissors this is my ruler and of course my measuring tape so these are what the essentials you need to pattern in case you want to do your patterns these are the yeah so guys as you can see i already have my lines this is my chest line this is my armhole line this is my bust point my under bust my waist and the full length of the corset so this is my nipple to nipple line is um six inches so divided into two is about three inches so that's what we have here as you can see it's three inches so our area of concentration is actually from the chest line to the corset length line so like this is like the simplest method uh since i've been sewing overboard corset this is like the simplest method i've been using it's so simple and it's easy to get whatever i want so i decided to share and teach this particular method there are other methods actually but this is like the simplest yeah the other complex method so first of all what we'll be doing here is this we'll first of all take our exact measurements the bust of my client is 34 34 divided by four will be eight and a half that's what i have here but the under bust of my client is um 29 so 29 divided by four to give me 7.25 so that's what i have here the waist of my client is a 28 so 28 divided by four will give me seven so that is what i have here then the uh at the hem part here the hip of my client is 32 so 32 divided by four will give me eight inches so this is what i have now so i'm just going to connect all the lines together and we'll jump right into working so after this the next point is we'll come to our bust point line we'll be coming down by one inch towards the under bust they will also go up by one inch towards the chest line after we have done this the next thing is to come to our under bust i really want my cup to sit properly so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking one and a half inch towards the side front and one and a half inch towards the center front so i'll be connecting this line so that one inch i came down from my under boss so i'll be connecting this like so likewise i'll come here and do the same So this is what i'm just going to do here so i'm going to come to my chest line now and i'll be doing one inch on both sides
and i'll be connecting my lines like so towards the one inch that i came up the one that i came above my boss point line so i'm going to be connecting it to this that leg here so as you can see this is what we have so what i'll be doing now is actually i'm having like a 12 panel upper um over bust corset so it has like 12 panel which is um six in front and six in at the back so i want to start creating my star lines now so first of all i'll just come here and this star line is totally depends on you so i'll come here now you can form any kind of star line you desire I'll come here now. I'm coming from my center front one inch towards. Let me just shape this so you see. I'm coming in by one inch from the center front towards the side, but I'm coming in by one inch now. So I'm going to be connecting that one inch to my under busts. I'm going to be connecting it to my under busts. So I'm coming to this. I'm trying to create my next star line now. I can say, okay, fine. I want to come from my nipple to nipple. I'm going to go inward by two inches. So I'm going to be connecting this line like so. Like I said, creating a star line is just depends on what preference. So what I have here now, I have about four inches here. So I'm going to come here and put it and replace it. So whatever I have here, I'll be doing likewise. I have about 3.3, yes. So... I think this is what they call three seven eight or something so i'm coming here now i have about three inches so i'm going to be imputing it there so same thing i'll be adding here that three inches so what i'll do here is this we already have this now as a guideline so i'm going to be adding my two inch that i took then i'm going to just Connect it to my underboss there. Sorry, to my armhole. Then try to create like a curve, and I'll connect my lines. So that's what I'm doing now. So that's what I have right now. So what I'll be doing next is this. I'll be extending this line up to this point. You know, this is now my new armhole. So I'm going to be extending it like so. So I'm extending it like that. So as you can see, we already have like a three part front for one um, side of our front so this is one this is two and this is the third one so what we want to do now is to cinch the waist we're going to determine how much deduction do we want to deduct from our waist we're going to be det determining that right the right on this part so on the whole my client waist like i said is 28 so I want to cinch to 24. So I'm taking like four inch off. So what I'll be doing here is this. I'll come here and extract 0 0.25 here. And do the same likewise here. So 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So I have half inch here. So on both sides, I've, I've taken a one inch. So I'm going to be connecting that 0 0.25 to this point here. 
I'm connecting that that leg here. So I'm going to also be connecting it all the way to my I'm connecting it all the way so that's what i have now i've already connected that so i'm going to come here now remember this is just like one side of the front so i already took out one dart already one inch that so this is half then half on the other side is one inch so i still have three inches to go right so i'm going to come here now and i'll be taking half inch here which i'll be connecting here and connecting there so i have on the whole now i've taken two inches for the front <laughs> I'm going to be connecting my line and connecting this all the way. So this is what I have right now at the moment. So I'll be jumping right to the front. But mind you, I'm going to be coming up by about three inches here, then slant it to my center front. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'm going to come up by three inches here, and I'll be just curving this like so to the front. So mind you, also take note because that's what I was also be subtracting from the back. So this is what. So I went ahead to straighten my dart properly so this is what i have and all like i said i went up by three inches here and you know the dress has like a sweetheart neck so i'm going to be from my chest line i'm going to be coming down by two inches and i'm going to be connecting my lines like so so this is it for the front lock and here we are going to be sliding to our back we'll cut that out later this is our back lock we're already gonna head to take our full measurements and all so what we'll be doing here is just very simple we'll be dividing the waist this is the bust the waist and the hem so we'll be dividing the waist in two three parts so what we have here is seven we're just going to like i want to say okay so what i did was two and a half two and a half then two inches so we're just going to be connecting it on a straight line from the hem to the uh, shoe, uh, sorry, neckline there. So we're just going to be connecting this on a straight line. And here. So we'll just come ahead here and take out our take out our deduction. We already took out two inches there. So what we're going to be doing here is quite simple. We we'll just come here now, quarter of an inch quarter of an inch we'll connect it to this part here there's no much drama and we'll be connecting this part to our neck line so same thing we're going to be doing for the other side like I said, we took out four inches. So this is two and a half, two and a half. This is half, half. And this is what we took half here, meaning 
half here at the same time that is one inch so on the other side also half and half so it's an amount to four inches so if you understand i believe you understand what i'm saying so whatever you're taking at the waist is just what you have decided with, between you and your client to take like i said earlier so we're just going to be connecting this all the way to the upper part there so voila we are done so what we're going to do here is this determine how if you want it like this fine but i'm just going to be coming down by let's say two of an inch and i'll be connecting this to my waist i'm um, sorry my armhole here so that's it i'll be connecting this to my armhole i'm connecting this to my armhole you see oh sorry for my neckline i'll be connecting this to my the depth which i came down sorry then we'll cut out that's what we're going to do we're just going ahead to cut out mind you'll be keeping this because this is where the dress has a yoke so we'll be keeping this and also that of the front sorry i haven't forgotten we'll have to come up by three inches the same way we did for the front and we'll connect to the center back so that's what we have we're just going to cut So what we're just going to do is, this will be out this is out so we're just going to be having one two three so so we are done cutting and we also labeled our patterns so this is the center front this is pattern one two three so we're going to be cutting two of this likewise we have our yolks so you see the back yolk and the front yolk we'll leave it in then we'll go, we have our side back which is four five six this is the center back so it's always important for the back part to we'll label our pattern up this up 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 then this is the down as you can see we have d written boldly this is for you to know how to place your panels whenever you um cut them on fold mind you we're going to be adding half inch seam allowance round like half inch seam allowance round on our fabric so and at the same time we can also be if it's if you have enough time you can just place this on another pattern paper and mark out your like half in seam allowance round before placing it on the fabric it's always easier that way you just let me just show you like a sneak peek you place this round now then use maybe like your masking tape to tape round then you go in all around with your five in um, 0.5 inch seam allowance so that's what is always better that way but if you don't if you're a pro pro you can just cut in fabric directly but it's always better to do this so i'm going to do this then bring it back for you guys to see and we can and now cut it on the fabric so but what i'm going to be doing i'm going to go straight to how to cut uh the down part of this dress I'm going to be showing like a different way of how to cut a mermaid skirt. Yeah, it's a very different way. I don't think you've seen this method. <laughs> so 